So I'm here at Research Conference 2018 with Dr. Alison Davis from Vision Education New Zealand. Now, Alison, you mentioned in your presentation it's important to tell students that they're responsible for their own learning, but how do you actually make sure that students understand what that means? Um, to me, that's taking a long-term approach and it's part of your classroom management, it's part of the way that you, um, you work and interact with students on an everyday basis. So there are, there are a range of activities. I mean, one of the things teachers often do is they share learning outcomes with students. And that's been part of um, visible learning work that's been um, undertaken. It's part of Dylan Williams' work around formative assessment. So in terms of helping kids to understand that they're responsible for their own work there, it's a matter of deconstructing each of those, looking at the tasks, looking at the vocabulary that's inside the learning goals. Do they understand what clarify means? Do they understand what describe means? Can they talk about it? Can they, can they explain um, to each other? Can they give examples to each other of what they'd be able to do if they're successful? So have they got a view of success and a view of the strategies that they're going to put in place or the actions they're going to take? So that's, that's one of the ways of helping kids to understand their responsibility um, for their own learning, but they won't understand full responsibility unless they understand the task. Um, another one is for them to do self-marking of their work, so um, we get them to um, mark their work according to the goals for the lesson, we get them to either highlight or mark down the margin using symbols or numbers each time they've shown that they have um, actually included something that was part of the lesson and then together with their um, partners or in groups of three and four they share and compare and justify their work and explain why they feel they have done a really good job with one particular task and they link it back to the criteria. So, so those are two examples. I mean there, there are many examples out there that help kids to understand that they have responsibility but ultimately they need to understand the purpose of what they're doing, they need to value it, they need to feel confident about their ability and confident about the ability to reach the task which links back to our motivation factors.